Okay, time to talk to the next client. She's apparently able to help us with the next part. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ahem, yeah, I laughed when I saw Pinky's face for the first time, too. Laughter and tears are but crystallizations of mere emotions. Emotions that make you weak and vulnerable. Uh, I'm pretty sure I heard and saw you laughing. Pretty sure you can't do that without being able to feel. Morals, I am an alchemist. A superior being such as myself does not have emotions, though they are valuable ingredients in my research. Uh, but if you don't have emotions, how can you experiment with them? Also, you called me immoral. Are you saying you can't die? Silence. A torrent of pointless questions strikes my ears like an unforgiving thunderbolt. If you no business here, leave. That we have, my lady. Elric, from what I understand, explain our situation is one of your roles in this group. Can you care to give us a hand? Yes, I was just about to. You see, Arvina, we were told that you possessed extensive knowledge of cults and black magic, and we came to seek... Ha! Huh, what makes you think you're worthy of my wisdom, mortal? Okay, which, which choice am I supposed to pick here? You're beautiful, it's true. You don't often see a woman who's both hot and smart, and I don't know if I'm worthy, but you sure make me want to come to you. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Oh, such flattering innuendo. At times I forget how my ravishing features grant mortals the strength to fight their harrowing fears of me. Arrowing fear? Uh, right. Very well, those with an eye for beauty are worthy of my wisdom. Now, what specifically do you need to know? First of all, are you familiar with the Beast Queen of Sanfi? The one that died? Yeah, what about her? The Cult of Sargoth is planning to revive that same Asanfi, and the plan is well in motion. It seems that they need three ingredients, one of which is the Raffalina flower. Now, they already have that, their hands on that, but we need to know what the other two ingredients are, so we can keep the Sargophytes from getting them. The Cult of Sargoth. You do realize they don't simply revive demons, do you? Yeah, sinful enough beings get sent to Sarge's realm when they die, and revive some of them to make them serve him. He does it, not the cult. Then answer me this, if the almighty demon god can handle the revival duties himself, why would the cult need these so-called ingredients to revive her? <laughs> now that's a good question. One thing you learn in our journeys is that not even a god can become all-powerful, even on their own turf. I guess that applies to Sargoth as well. Perhaps the Sanfi is too strong a demon for him to bring back without a few extra catalysts. Yes, and while that is a possibility, I am more concerned about another, modified reincarnation. Which apparently the cultists are relying on to get them out of the corner they were backed into. Wait, how do you know we were backing them into a corner? Ha. Ha ha Morals, I knew who you were the moment you stepped into my temple of wisdom. This woman is scary. Back to the matter at hand. The Raffalina is not normally used for revival, but rather it is used to augment one's natural abilities. However, it can only be used it can be used as a revival ingredient to make the revived demon become stronger, faster, and deadlier than they were ever were before. This is a method of modified reincarnation. If a Sanfi were to be revived this way, she may come back looking almost nothing like she used to. That doesn't sound good. The original Sanfi was bad enough, and you're saying she could get even worse? And we don't have even a moment to spare. Ravina, assuming your theory is correct, where are the other two ingredients needed in this modified reincarnation? Tears of a succubus and prism dust. We know a few succubi. This could be bad. Thank you. That will help immensely. So can you tell me where we can find them? I... don't... know. Wow, so the great May Ravina Mephi doesn't know something? Wahaha! Don't push your luck, Merle. You don't want to incur my wrath. Hate to interrupt you, but you talking about actual succubus tears? Yes. Oh, I almost forgot you trained with succubi, I Ivy, you can just take us to them, right? Yeah, but there's one teensy little problem. You see, succubi don't cry. In all my years training with them, there were times when I saw my sisters getting uh, get heartbroken, yet they never shed a single tear. I don't know if they... Don't have a tear gland or something, but even if they do, you need to get one heck of a reaction from them to make them cry. You're missing the point here. We're not collecting the ingredients. We're trying to stop the Sargophytes from doing the same. 
In this case, you can try convincing the Succubi to eva evacuate to a safe place. Say, the city of Sokoba. Have you gone loco? There'd be a riot and they'd get butchered. Now if General Benedict arranges some protections for them, anyone looking to harm them would have to get through the Skokovan militia. A public service announcement in favor of their protection may also help. Well, concerned what's at stake, I guess we can trust old Benny. Alright, let's go to Everin Forest. All Succubi in West Asia live there. Great, then. That's where we're heading next. Ravina, thank you for everything. Your gratefulness is accepted, Morals. On another matter, if you wish to use my skills for your alchemic needs, you know where to find me. Of course it won't be for free. Ah ha ha! Ah ha ha! Um, right. Are you an immortal? Ha. Ah. Foolish mortal, did I ever claim to be one? Well, you play it by calling us mortals. You don't just call someone immortal like that unless you're immortal yourself. Common sense, lady. Common sense is vastly overrated. Perhaps I am, perhaps I'm not. Some questions are best left unanswered. <laughs> mortal. Who exactly are you? I'm Ravina, a master of unraveling mysteries, a mother of eldritch creation, and an infinite reservoir of wisdom who knows no equal. Gee, stop selling yourself short. Sarcasm? How droll. Regardless, my words contain no lie, mortal. So you're saying you're the very best at what you do? Again, no, I'd not say that. I have no equal for writing an enigma, a one of a kind wonder. But Arnold's is a vast world, and even when I say I have no equal, there may be those who are better than me. You're only the best until someone better comes along, and that is the cold reality of our world. Uh, I see, I guess. Essence. Yeah, I use up quite a few for quests. Ah, whoops. Anything useful here? Here's all negative states. All damaging states, not all negative. Okay, all binding states. Oh, but it's pretty expensive. Okay, next up is Everin Forest. Uh, Everin, we meet again. Guess we're at the right place. Let's hope we're not too late. I second that. Let's head to the Succubi camp without wasting time. There ain't no roads here, so we gotta be careful not to get lost. The camp is south of here. Oh, shoot, I need to put that ring back on. No! Okay, keep going south as far as possible. We have to keep, keep need to keep pressing south. Uh, we can't go south from here. Anyway, so... Okay, there we go. Damn, everything's here so fast. No. Okay, I could kill this one quickly, I think. Or not. We have to have someone switch out. Use Arc Flame. Alright, be right back. We can actually be east of here if I remember correctly. Okay, there's a campfire. Okay, so for this party, I want to have mostly magic and stuff. Yeah. Huh?
God, why are you know? Couldn't the, what if the enemy just took them from all these wild succubi around here? The random encounter ones. Then we'd be screwed, anyways. Then, why does this one have to be so easy for them to get to? Okay, east is gonna be bad. Oh, what's this? Are you free playing a game I don't know about? He... Help us! Help, we... We're stuck this damn Chikala tree. We can't move. Ugh. Shara, where are the elders? Who did this to you? The elders just left for a hunt. A demon covered in heavy armor came carrying a golden blade and attacked us a couple minutes after. Damn it. Margaret and Cynthia would have ripped into shreds if they were here. Don't worry, we'll cut the tree and get you down in no time. I wouldn't do that if I were you. One false move on your part may spell doom for these delicate little flowers. You wouldn't want that now, would you? Flame, do you wish to be humiliated once more? You. I haven't forgotten about you. You were lucky back then. Let's see if that luck will hold out. Come on, try me. Take a swing. Make one move and I promise you, these girls' heads will roll before you even realize what happened. Where's that smug attitude now, huh? We know why you're here, but you're not getting what you came here for. That's right, Sekubai don't cry. They just don't. Even if you kill them, you'll just be wasting your time. Huh, you really take us for a bunch of fools, eh? Normally that'd be a case, but you see, our dear Alice is a one of a kind know-it-all. There's only one thing Sekubai need before they can cry. Can you guess what? To look at your ugly mug? Makes sense to me. I see you haven't changed, using petty jokes to hide your fear. What they need before they can cry is getting their wings plucked clean off. You see, a succubus's wings are everything to her, and those wings render them unable to express emotions that show weakness. A part of that is disabling their tear the glands. Without their wings, they're just like regular old women. Don't believe me? Let's find out. Damn, how did he... Let me go and I swear I'll tear you pieces with my bare hands. Such soft skin, such delicate features. No wonder human males fall so easily for your kind. No. Stop. Damn it, let her go. You shall pay for this. Baby, stay strong. Don't give him what he wants. Craven Kerr, you should not lay another finger on her. Now that her tear glands are no longer blocked, the only thing stopping her from crying is her will. I wonder how long she'll last after I cut off a limb or two. You won't even you won't lay even one finger on her, you hear me? Yeah, attacking with physical is kind of a bad idea. Oh, and barrier. All I can do is try to smash him with Spells. He can't counter those. Protective Array. Yeah, that was pretty nasty. Not really much you can do here. This guy is not using all mental attacks for some reason. It's all up to you, Sharina. Defense booster. Uh. Perry. Gonna use this extra counter rate. Haste. Ah! Well, he we tanked it pretty well this time. Normal healing potion should be enough. Mystical Ray.
Guard. Arc Thunder. Vivi, oh sweet Vivi. That, uh, the grass is turning crimson, and it's all because of you. When I first met you, I thought of you a fool. A fool of honor, if nothing else. Now I say I was wrong. You've not even a shred of honor or dignity in yourself. You think I like doing it this way, punk? I'd rather just kill all you all here and be done with it. But sometimes you just have to take one for the team. Can't believe she survived that. Guard. Arc Thunder. Elven Barrier. Protective Array. Eper Storm. This whiskey is a little more red. I wonder who shall be the next paint bucket. Will it be the calculated and cunning Shar or a hot headed Lara? I'll flip a coin. Heads for Shar, tails for Lara. Don't fall for it, Vivi. I'm not gonna let him lay a hand on your sisters. Stop, please, don't hurt them. Oh, uh, here I find I get to chop up a couple more limbs. Oh well. I will admit, you've gotten a lot stronger. I'd love to stay and slice you up, but now that I've got our precious tears, I got other things to attend to. Two of the three ingredients are ready, and the time for awakening draws nearer. Tick tock, tick tock. Vivi, are you alright? Talk to me. Guys, we can't move unless you cut down this tree. Help us. I'm on it. Shar, Lara, please kill me. Please end this pain. Vivi. We couldn't do anything to stop him. I'm sorry, we failed you. Shar, is she going to be alright? She'll live, right? I... I don't know. She's only alive now because Char, Lara and I are sharing our life energy with her, but even then she can only last a few days. We go get help, but we can't. We can only transfer our life energy over a few meters. This is bad. Then let us help. Just tell us what we need to do and we'll handle it. Thanks so much, Ivy. It means a lot. So you need to talk to the spirit of Erin Lake and get her to lend Vivi a part of her essence. That'll bring her wings back. But that would make the spirit lose a small part of her life force, so... It's worth a shot. Just tell me where she lives. Head west, go deeper in the forest, and you'll find the elven village of Ayla. From there, keep heading west into deeper Everin. The spirit li lives near Everin Lake. There's one problem, though. It isn't easy to get into deeper Everin. The Ayla elders don't like it when travelers enter it without permission. Well, you're not a traveler to them. You were born there, right? Yeah, but I can't take you with me without permission. I can't face the spirit of Everin alone. Guy, guys, I know we're on a tight schedule, and we need to stop the coals from getting to the next ingredient. It would mean a lot to me if we could save Vivi, just to find let you, uh, just find let you know. We can keep her alive for at most four days using her life force. Hurry, we're counting on you. Four days? Is that actual real in-game time? Shoot. But hurry. Unlike Ivy, I can't promise you anything, but we'll do what we can. Besides, there's nothing I hate more than watching a pretty girl suffer. Thank you. We shall forever be in your debt. One more thing, Kenrad. We must report this to General Benedict, though it's up to you to decide where we do it before heading for Vaela or after. Yeah, let's go to Vaela right now. It's pretty much a stone's throw away. Be right back. Will we try to tell the Elder about this? Let's see. I guess not. She won't say anything. Guess we better just head into the deeper Everend forest. Let's see. A decent MP healers. No, uh, really, I'm just stuck with potions. Okay, yeah, we already have uh, permission to go through. 
Apparently there's supposed to be a legendary monster here, but I've never seen it before. And it's not even- and the guy just has question marks for its name, so that means the person who wrote it never encountered it either. Okay, the, the spirit should be through here. Here goes. Oh, you're, you're in there, spirit. Come out, come out wherever you are. Playing hard to get, are we? Two can play that game. I ain't moving until you come up and dazzle me with your spiritual thing. Silence! I do not answer the, the, the such disrespectful, arrogant outsiders. Except you just did! Ha! Everyone, let me handle this. Oh, Great Spirit, I am Sharina Sanakia, an elf who calls Baela her home. We seek your help in saving a resident of this forest, an innocent succubus who now lies at death's door, due to having her wings cut off by a sargophyte demon. An elf traveling with questionable companions is not worth answering to either, especially when one of those companions is a hunter, one of the worst specters of greed. Knowing you belong in a sacred place such as this. Now wait just a second, spirit. You hardly even know any of my friends here. You just judge them like that? You judge them just like that? They may not be the most well behaved bunch, but they're definitely worth your respect. This conclusion jumping is like the intolerance that is driving the people of our world apart. And yet, perhaps most hunters are way too greedy, perhaps not. Who are either of us to judge? Regardless, this hunter, despite his thousand flaws, agreed to help the succubus out of the kindness of his own heart. There was no promise of reward in return for his help. No coin, no trophy, nothing. If you have it in you to just let death claim the poor girl, then fine. But don't you dare badmouth my friends like some bloody, hyperjudgmental, imbecilic sard. Whoa. I didn't see that coming. Hmm, in that hunter's eyes, I can see how much he would have loved to do the devil's dance with that succubus. Regardless. All my life I used to give, give, and keep on giving. So many had lied their way into getting fragments of my soul, using said fragments not for noble purposes they had promised. All the while I felt my power slipping away into nothingness. I've had enough of it. If you truly care for that succubus's life, you should be willing to risk your own lives for it. So fight me and prove your resolve, or are you just cowardly liars like those who came before you? You're on. Very well, hold nothing back, because otherwise I shall grant you a swift death. Okay. Let's see if I can break your speed. Yes, it worked. Arc Thunder. Whoa! That was not a good idea. Uh, holy shit. We're gonna have to use physical attacks. No, we're gonna have to not storm night. That should not be reflected. No, I mean, I mean, thunder slash. Yeah, take that. Yeah, that's the way to go. Now switch with a physical attacker. I have no idea. I don't have any lightning moves, but I do have devastating shot. Take that. Whoa, 4,000! And she got stunned. Destructive Array. Sharina had better switch out for a physical attacker. Stunning combo. Let's keep the combo train going. Come on. Stun. Okay. Arrow Storm. Another Thunder Slash. Oh, come on, how can you miss it at a time like this? But at least she's silenced. That gives us a fighting chance. Oh, 
Another stunning combo for the win. No. Normal attack. I'm not building up much TP. Case. This should finish her, hopefully. Or at least come close to it. Oh, huh, it seems she's resistant to ice, but I still managed to finish her off. You're proving your sincerity. I am satisfied. Sincerity is a high form of magic, they say. Meh. More than anything, I just wanted to kick your cocky, transparent ass. Regardless, you have all earned my respect, Borsh, as that hunter among you is. Now take this. Spirit Fragment. That should be enough to restore her wings back to normal. Farewell, and do not break my slumber again. Hey, Shrina, just for the record, I do not have a thousand flaws. Oh, and how many do you have? Just one. I'm way too strong and handsome. Oh, I should have stems, hunter boy. You should be glad I didn't tell her about your cringier ones. Now you're stealing my lines. Face it, you suck at being me. You wish. I could be a better you than you could ever be. Anyway, we better rush back to VB before it's too late. Uh, be right back. Okay. Here you go, babe. Take this in your wings, we'll be back up in the jiffy. Vivi, well, I'm glad you're alright. I'm so glad you're alright. My wings, they're back. You, you saved my life. Ooh, babe, you had me so worried back there. Don't you worry about a thing now. Everything's gonna be just fine. Guys, thank you so much for everything. I know it must have been a hard choice. Considering how you had to rush after the demons, I'm really glad you chose to save my sister. It was an obvious choice, really. I mean, I just can't let a pretty girl die in front of my eyes. The world can wait. Ah, uh, kind and funny. I bet you're a real hit with the ladies. Oh, Ivy, there's something I really wanted you to have. She asked me to give it to her best disciple, and right now, I can't think of anyone more deserving than you. Heart Slasher Dagger. Damn, this looks good. You sure it's alright for me to take this? You saved Vivi's life. No reward can be enough for that, but this is the least we can do. Take it and go out there and break some hearts like you always do. <laughs> That's what I do best. Thanks, girl. Why are they still attacking me in this area? Why is this place not a safe zone? Just glad everything turned out well in the end. Please come by whenever you have time. I'd love to get to know you better. Man, you make me want to kiss you square in the lips, but I don't want to make Char jealous. She seems pretty fine yet, too. Whoa. Counter rate is still high in this area, even though it looks like it should be a civilization. I've almost forgotten how delicious these apples are. I really now that you should really you really should appreciate the smaller things in life. Being able to eat delicious stuff, fly around, hang out with your loved ones. I can't believe you took a near-death experience, but I'll always count my blessings from now on. Thank you again for saving me. How strong is this? Way stronger. Doesn't have a super high crit rate, though. But it might be worth it anyways, considering the luck and attack boost. The Thief of Hearts, what does that do? Confusion! It only costs 9 TP. <laughs> Meanwhile in COVID, yeah this popped up as soon as I left the forest. Oh no! It's him! Home sweet home. It's been almost 16 years, huh? Far too long it's been. So he must be the tiger. 
He's that crazy guy that everyone was so scared of. Oh, uh, who's this funny looking guy? You ain't a bad now, are ya? You, do you recognize me? The... The White Tiger! It, it's you! Holy shit! Don't let yourself just yet. I will spare you, provided you do just one thing for me. You see these kids here? Take them to the orphanage in Adolin. No questions asked. Wait, what? What's going on here? I But... Um... Soldier, you can try playing hero if you want, but in doing so, you'll be wagering not only your life, but those of four innocent children as well. The only reason he's saying that is probably because he's about to kill- Wait, did, were their parents already dead? I can't remember. You need to recognize who I am, then I'm sure you know the best course of action. Oh, uh, why do we need to go to the orphanage? Demon Doll is taking great care of us already. He's just trying to keep us away so we can deflower her. You're gonna steal no flower on my watch. Wait. Does this mean... Kids, we need to go. Now, this is an order. Hey, don't tell me you're gonna let him push his weight around like that. One day you'll understand. For now, just follow me. Shh. Fine, just don't touch your flowers while I'm away, way, alright? Now, where were we? The hell is he up to? Good day, Traveler. Life is hard here in COVID, but I hope you enjoy your time here. Maya, thank you for the warm welcome. Allow me to reciprocate that warmth. Oh, no! Oh, my lord! What just happened? It's... It's him, the White Tiger! Such wonderful hospitality. Is this truly the COVID I remember? Why the hell is he nuking everyone? Akia, I know you would never have agreed to this, but this is long overdue. Omega Spectrum! Why the hell did he kill them all? Did they, did they do something to him? Reject him for his beast blood or something like that? I still remember how he tried to burn me at the stake 16 years ago. Heh, <laughs> who's burning now? Solar arm again! He even destroyed his own house! Oh no! Man, what's up with this village? Why is everything on fire? I told you we shouldn't have come to this cursed place. You should have listened to her. Solar arm again. He's just spamming the, the, one of the strongest spells in the game. Sure be enough. Stop this madness right now. Huh? It's been a while since someone called me by that name. I... I trusted you. I thought you were above such savagery. Trust? What gives you the right to use that word after what you did 16 years ago? You were the one I truly trusted. You were the only one who didn't judge me for my birth. You were the only one I could call a friend. Or at least as I wanted to believe. You know I care about you. Our friendship was not a lie, but... You killed your own mother, and that was a day sh the surety I knew died, as his remains gave rise to a cold-blooded monster. I was hoping the old Shirby would come back sooner or later. I guess I raised my hopes too high. Funny, so did I. Because back then, I expected you to understand why I did what I did. Just like the rest, you insisted on your over judgment. You cared little for nuance. And now you're looking at one who was reborn as a monster. You're looking at THE one who you could have saved from that rebirth. You so often say you should take responsibility for your actions. Now, it is time for you to put your money where your mouth is. Ours. No, what about the kids? What do you do to them? Rian. The kids, where are they? Shin, oh no.
It's still shaking. Let's go back in. Okay, it's no longer shaking. Yeah, this happened before. They forgot to cancel the shake effects. No, they say don't go to COVID for now. First, I should just go to the General Benedict. Kenred, were you able to track down the demons? Fought and chased off the freak wearing 500 kilos of steel, but... The Sargophytes now have two of the three ingredients they need to revive Asanfi. According to Ravina, the method of her resurrection may make her even stronger than she was before. Stronger than before, huh? This may end badly for us. Is this really the group that defeated the infamous smile maker along with the other true demons? Because right now, I'm finding that very hard to believe. Come on, I beat him every time he ran to me. It ain't my fault our coal is for cowards and pansies. And what do you have to back up that claim? For all we know, you could be getting pearl rights by the demons yet somehow managing to run away with your tails tugged and life's intact. Do I look like a coward, you old man? Easy for you to act all high and mighty, sit in your chair hiding behind a bunch of soldiers. Gentlemen, please, we cannot fight amongst ourselves. The, the enemy may be stringing us along, treating us like pawns on a chessboard. Yeah, I'm sure we can find a way to thwart the chessmaster, much like you did with the smile maker. We best wait and see for a good opportunity. Not afford to simply send our laurels, Benedict. If we wait too long, we'll have one before we know it. Have you learned of the third ingredient yet? According to Ravina, the last of the three ingredients is prism dust, though we have no idea where to find it. Ah, uh, in that case... Sir, it's an emergency! COVID is... Knight, we're in the middle of an important meeting. Can you report, not wait? I'm afraid not, sir. The entire village of COVID has been destroyed. What? Destroyed? Volox, one does not simply destroy an entire village. Did the Cardiffian regiment sneak in from the mountains? That is very unlikely, sir. We found no trace of the enemy army, nor of any cultist activity. Houses were destroyed, trees burnt, mountains crumbled, and not a single soul is left to tell the tale, except a few of my fellow soldiers. That's awful. What about the kids? What about Demodella? Demodella. All corpses were burnt beyond recognition. We were unable to identify the victims. I... I've never seen anything like this in my 24 years of being a soldier. This is madness. No large group could have approached a city like COVID without raising an alarm. Was it even a group that did all this? We will arrange to get this matter investigated. Also, we shall tighten the security around the smaller villages in the area. Not quite yet, Benedict. We have no surplus of troops to spare. We'll discuss it later, however. Knight, thank you for your swift report. Dismissed. Yes, sir. So I was about to say, the prism dust might be somewhere in this part of the continent. I'll arrange for some scouts to locate it. Meanwhile, you should try to locate it on your own. Hmm, I have a better idea. Let the scouts locate the prism dust and let Kenrad's group take this time to train and sort out any pending work they have. The battles will only get tougher from here on. Kenrad, please take this time to prepare yourself and your comrades for said battles. Got it. We'll show them a cult of satire bozos who's boss. Great, give him even more time to waste while his son piece revival draws nearer. Or at it, won't you give him a reward for failing yet again? Uh, thank you for the reminder. Kenran crew, here's your payment for defeating Flame. Curses, I was obviously trying to be sarcastic. Do you want me to hold him aside for you next time? Blame your own lack of sarcasm skills, old man. Anyway, come back in a few days' time. The prism dust should be located by then. That did not level anyone up. Follow up regarding the mysterious ring. Talk to Arshan. Find what happened to COVID. Follow up regarding the mysterious ring. I already learned quite. A, I already got to that guy's diary page, so I'm pretty sure. I, I, that counts already. I better talk to Arsh instead. So now we have some free time on our hands, what do you want to do first? They don't say cooch and hooch. The answer has gotten stale by now. Fine, you go wire and trumpets then. Happy? I believe you meant strumpets. I should have seen that coming. Anyway, we still gotta figure out the mystery behind my dad's ring. I think now is as good a time as any. 
The elf village got the clues, right? What was the name of that place again? It's about Ayla, my sweet hometown. We'll have to pass through Everin Forest to get there, which is southeast of Sokova. Well, just in case you forgot, the name of the elf on the ring is Solbari. Once we get there, let's talk to the village leader and see what she has to say. But I already did that! Please tell me that they uh, that they accounted for this. Right, sounds like a plan. What else? Guess I want her to check up on Arsha and see how things are going with Akia. Oh my, never thought you'd want us to visit a man just to check up on him. Well, let's say where you want. I just want to see him and Akia duke it out. I think we should visit what's left of COVID while we have the chance. I know we can't do what has been done, but... Of course you don't have to go if you don't want to. I... Can I understand how you feel, but we may find useful clues about who put COVID in such a state if we investigate it. We were told there was no cultist activity there, we can never be too sure. Yeah, I know. I was just thinking. Anyway, let's get going. Yeah, technically I already have... I already have Silvari's treasures. Okay, into the end. Top floor. Please tell me Arshan's still alive. Oh, he is. Somehow. Kenra, it's good that you're here. How so? Uh, so, did you already beat Akia? In that case, let's get some Hoochan. Not yet. Maybe after. Akia? She wants me to find her. She wants to end this once and for all. <clears throat> huh? Wasn't she trying to hide herself this whole time? Perhaps, but I have a feeling she needs something from me. Something that'd make her want to risk her life like that. So you know where she's at, huh? Just give me the word and I'll be right there to back you up. You don't stand a chance. We need to be at, you need to be at least level 100. Kenra, we went over this before. I don't want you involved in this any longer. I started this and now it's my turn to end it. Geez, fine. Well, in that case, I'm putting my money on the Skakovan veteran. After you get rid of her for good, we're going to have one more round to celebrate. Of course, you'll be paying for the drinks as usual. Deal. Guess you could say Judgment Day draws near. Uh. Anything else to say? Nope. And there's a lot of lag for some reason. Let's go check up with that bearded blockhead and see if his scouts got something for us now. Yeah, that's. I guess they're giving me the okay to go back, but I still need to go to COVID. Be right back. Okay, into COVID we go. What? The entire village isn't burnt down. Just who? Who could have done something like this? Damn it! I knew this was it was gonna be bad, but this is surreal. I can't sense a single soul here. Whoever did this didn't leave a single survivor. I don't think we should linger here for too long. Whoever did this might come back at any time. Besides, with everything burnt down, I doubt we'll find anything useful. Rest in peace, COVID. Gah. Everything inside has been completely destroyed. It doesn't seem like we can find much in here. Everything... Even his own house... Feels as if the inn can collapse at any minute. There's no uh, no buildings we can enter now. Ok, 
Okay, what if I try to leave? Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe.